evil doesn't just blow up. War has started. And we are hopelessly outgunned. Sometimes you need a different kind of superhero. Director Fury, I think it's time. It's go time! It's time! When prejudice tries to make a delivery to your doorstep, these old ladies say, not today. It sounds controversial, but it's supposed to be comical. The theatrical play, it's called The Black Jew Dialogues. It's all about its name. The Black Jew Dialogues. The Black Jew Dialogues. The Black Jew Dialogues? But what exactly are the Black Jew Dialogues? It involves two actors who explore that, what they call the absurdity of prejudice. Hi, neighbor! <laughs> oh, hey, hey, buddy, we are definitely not neighbors. Oh, we're both African slaves. What? Yeah, Egypt's in Africa. Oh, hell no! Yeah, I love that. No! Yes, no, yes, no. yes! I bet you haven't seen a black family around here before. Not at this late. Come on, man. No, what do you think of the Jews? Yes. You don't think of Africa. Not right away. It's a combination of skits and a game show, audience interaction. Uh, that also has puppetry in it. I don't have any legs, but I'll kick your ass all the same. <laughs> I think one of the great things about doing comedy is that it gives you the opportunity to find parody and find satire in things that might be too difficult, too complex to try and go at head on. Try to figure out what's going on between us, you know? Why we don't get along. What is diversity, multiculturalism, hate? race, prejudice, starting with the black and Jewish experience and spreading out to all of us in America. Have you ever been the only one of your kind in a huge group? Every group that stands out in one way or another gets the short end of it. You know, remember we got on a plane, there's some young guys in Arab garb getting on with us. Ah, TSA! 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 He's got a turban! They're over there turban. winning! They're winning! Fereotype. That's right. A fereotype is what people do when they choose to look at someone through the lens of fear and a stereotype. We don't have to use that lens to look at everything through but some people do it just because it's easier. And so rather than take the time and energy to try and figure it out, you just stereotype. Every time something negative happens to a gay person, yeah. or a black person, or a or Jewish person, or whatever, yeah, whatever yeah, 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 yeah. it feeds into the negative concept of who we all are as a people. There you go. We put this show together to give people at least some insight into the things that drive us, the things that get in the way of us really being good to one another, mm -hmm. and ultimately, if you're willing to be honest with someone and give them a little bit of rope to maybe make a mistake in the name of understanding, you're really going to get to something yeah. significant. Yeah. I have aha moments at, you know, during almost every show. Some on stage with my partner Larry, uh, but most in the discussion that we do after the show with our audience. We, in, we insist upon that. Our time together has been incredible. We've met so many wonderful people. We've had so many great experiences. Now we've got like just hundreds of people in front of us. We'd like to hear your thoughts and mine as well. The show itself was wonderful, but the discussion afterward, that was spectacular. For me, the more we're out there, the more people we meet, the more I'm growing as a human being and understanding the nature of these things that we deal with, the better I am at communicating it through words or through theater or comedy. I think that it was a very important message, and I think that they did it in such a way that was funny and everyone was able to laugh at it rather than feel awkward about talking about it. It was a really powerful experience. Um, uh, it hits a lot of points and I think it can be expanded to a lot of subjects that affect a lot of people and it really makes you think about everyone. Just saw the Black Jew Dialogues, it was fantastic. You gotta come see it. You know, our political discourse isn't necessarily the greatest model for giving us the common people, you know, the, the language for having healthy, 
honest, productive, and respectful discourse. And so there's a tense moment right at the uh, middle of the show where it's very tense between Larry and I. And we, you know, we're yelling at each other and we're basically butting heads on social, points of social ideology. And um, things, are, things are heated. And we find a way through it. And I'm sorry I got all bent out of shape too, ma'am. No, 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 no. But see, the thing we're doing here is like we had a bad moment. Yeah. Take a breath. We move on. We okay. don't let the fight. We don't let the fight end the dialogue. All right. All right. And that, to me, is what I think doesn't happen enough, that people get to the ugly and the ugly becomes the end. To me, that's a great moment in the show because I like to believe that it can act as a reflect or a possible image of what we can do better with each other, which is have the hard conversations, not agree, but at the same time, not give up. <laughs>